This question was asked in gate um, electrical paper. In the circuit, the switch S is closed for a long time. That means initially the switch S is closed for a long time and is opened at t equal to 0. At t equal to 0 plus, what is the current I of t? The current I of t is the current through this capacitance. Now, first what we are going to do is First, we will find out what is the initial voltage of the capacitor. Then we will find out what is the final value of voltage across the capacitor after the switch is opened. Now, then we will look at the time constant tau of the circuit. Then we will find out what is the voltage across the capacitance for all time t, which is we know that it is nothing but V final. Plus, we have been doing this for too many problems by now. V of plus, V initial minus, V final, V power minus, V by tau. Now, from this, we have found out what is the voltage across the capacitor. Once we know what is the voltage across the, capa across the capacitor, we can easily find out what is the current through it. What is the current through it? There is the current through the capacitor with voltage Vz across it is CdVz by dt now this is the way how we are going to solve this problem now we will see its values now the switch s in the circuit is closed for a long time now what happens the capacitor charges to its final value now we have to find out what is the initial voltage we know that when the switch is closed for a long time the capacitor will act as an open circuit we can draw the equivalent circuit here for an easier analysis that means we have the 5 volt here, the 1 ohm. Now the capacitor will act as open circuit. And we have the 4 ohm here and 1 ohm here and 5 volts here. Now we can apply voltage divider rule to find out what is this voltage that is the initial voltage across the capacitor. So initial voltage is nothing but what is the current through the capacitor? sorry the current through the resistors that is 5 by 4 plus 1 into what is the current uh, voltage across this 4 ohm that is into 4 it is nothing but 5 divided by sum of resistances into the resistance across which we want the voltage to be calculated that is 4 volts okay we have got what is the V initial that is 4 volts now we have to see what is V final. Once the switch is open, we open the switch and see. Once the switch is open, what happens? The capacitor discharges through the resistor and attains a steady state voltage of 0 volts. Now the time constant of the circuit is easy to find out, which is the RC time constant. That is 4 microseconds. Now we will find out what is Vz. We have V final 0, so it will be 4 e power minus t, in t by 4 micro. 25 into 10 power 4 t. Okay. Now we will find out what is current capacitance. What is the current through the capacitor? We can find out first. We will remove this. Okay. okay, what is C? It is 1 micro into what is the derivative of 4 e power minus 25 into 10 power 40? It is minus 25 into 10 power 4 into 4 e power minus 25 into 10 power 4 t we are asked to find out the value of ic as t tends to 0 plus we substitute t equal to 0 in this equation and solving we have 1 micro 10 power 4 that means 10 power minus 2 25 into 4 100 
both get cancelled and we have minus 1m now we will see how to solve this problem in an easier manner so the switches in the circuit is closed for a long time now when the switch is closed for a long time the capacitor will act as open circuit and what is the voltage we have already found out it as 4 volt we are asked to find out what is the current at t equal to 0 plus only now we know that the capacitor voltage doesn't change abruptly that means this initial voltage at t equal to 0 minus will be same as its voltage across the capacitor at t equal to 0 and it will be same as the voltage across the capacitor at t equal to 0 plus okay that means these all are equal to 4 volts now we are asked to find out what is the current at t equal to 0 plus the voltage we know that is the voltage across the capacitor is 4 volts and we have 4 ohms across it what is the current current i is nothing but vz by r at t equal to 0 plus that is 4 by 4 that is 1 amp okay we have found out this very quickly and this current will be in this direction that is 1 ampere flowing in this direction so the current in this direction will be minus 1 amps this is the quick way of solving it what we have done previously is systematic way to do any problem of this kind